Hey, what's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can add borders to any element in ClickFunnels. I know I made a video previously where you can add borders to kind of individual rows and individual columns. Yes, you can do that, uh, but you cannot add columns to individual elements, okay? So you can only add it to individual rows or sections, not elements. So let me show you what it looks like and why maybe you may wanna do something like that. Um, so here, I'm just gonna click on show page. And this is our diabetes page that we've tested out. But as you can see here, I've added a little border around the clock, okay? Something you cannot normally do. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And you can do the same thing for around text, around, you know, these little arrows, anything like that. And you can adjust. Uh, the really cool thing about this is, is that you can actually change each different border color, right? For, for left, right, top, bottom, you can change the color, you can change the width. You can change uh, the radius, anything like that you can do. So let me just show you how you can do that. So I'm going to go into my edit page. And then here's what I had, okay. So yes, there is a little inconsistency between what you see here and over here. As you can see, here looks much more even, right? Over here, not so much. So something we'll have to play around with. Uh, so I'm just going to delete everything and I will start from scratch. Okay, so I just have a timer here. You can add a timer by clicking add element and click any one of these three timers. Not a big difference between them. You know, day timer counts down up until a certain day. Count or sorry, countdown counts up until, you know, a certain amount of time. Uh, but day timer counts up to a certain day, for example. Okay, so like January or now March 2nd, for example, I can put that in and it's gonna count down, okay? So let me now add a border. So as you can see, here's the entire element, even though the, the picture is only in the middle, okay? So um, if I click settings, I can actually not change anything here. So I can only pick what I want, but I can't add an, um, a border. And even if I did want to add a border around something like this, then I would only add a border around the full thing. There's no customization available at all, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you how to do uh, to add a border around this particular element. So let's begin. So I'm going to click on settings again. I will get this info. I will copy that. I will go to custom CSS and I'm going to paste that here, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the command for border. So I'm going to say, border and I will say style, okay? And then I'm going to say whatever style. So this is pretty cool. There's a lot of different styles available. I recommend you guys go online and see if you wanna see the full list, uh, but some of them are, you know, solid, dotted, uh, dashed, um, inset, ridge, cool things like that. So let's go with maybe ridge. I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So that's it's got a little 3D effect. If I say inset, it looks something like that, okay? So maybe let's let's stick with that for now, but you you have a bunch of options. So you can do, for example, uh, you can do solid, okay? So that's the one I used. Let's stick with inside just to keep it like that. Uh, so we, we can do four little customization options, at least for borders. So one is border style, the other one is radius. So if we wanna change radius. That's around the corners. How soft do you want the corners to be? So we need to put this in pixels. So for example, if I put one pixel, it's one pixel rounder, okay? So that's obviously way too little. If I put 25, as you can see here now, it is more rounded, okay? Um, so that's the other thing. We can also change the color. So we'll say border color equals, you can input any code. Um, if you put red, that's pretty simple, but you could also input you know, the full uh, number code. Or you can do something like um, RGB in parentheses, you know, 255, 100, 112, for example. I'm just making stuff up, right? But that's going to give you that color. So in this case, it's kind of pinkish, pinkish, uh, maybe a little bit of purplish there. Okay, so the other thing is obviously the width. So we're gonna say border width, and you can make this anywhere from one pixel, make it really skinny to maybe like 10 pixels, right? Let's make it a bit bigger. See, this may not work with this particular border style. Let me just see if that's gonna work. Border width, no, it may not, not with this. Let me see if I do solid. There you go, so solid works. Worse. Right? 
order with. Hmm. I have mistyped something. Let me see. What did I do wrong here? Oh, okay. I forgot the semicolon, of course. There you go. Okay. So now that's going to change that. So let me just put this back to our inset, I think. Uh, and here, yeah, border width. So you can adjust this as you see. Okay. So you can do 10 pixels. You can do 5 pixels, stuff like that. So pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. Okay. So, so you get the idea how to put the border. Now, let me just show you how you can play around with this even more, first of all. So if I go to, oops, not tracking code. If I go to custom CSS, um, so if you put in border style, um, you can do two things if you want to customize the exact location of your border. You can say border style top, for example, and then left, right, right, bottom, left, and then you can say whatever you want. Or the shortcut is to just have everything here. So you're going to say border style inset, and then you can put in all the different words here. So for example, let me just show you what I mean by that. Solid dotted dashed. So do you see what I did there? Now I changed the style of every single side of my style, something I could have done by just saying border top style or border style top. Let me see which one it is. Uh, yeah, it's border, okay. So border top style, border bottom style, border right, border, border left, okay? You can do that here in just this shortcut. So what I did here is this corresponds to the top. So it's gonna go from top, right, bottom, left, okay? So the inset is the top, the solid is the right, the dotted is the bottom, the dashed is the left, and you can adjust this however you want to. So I can make this inset as well, okay? Same goes for the radius. You can actually change this, make it 10 pixel here. Um, 20 pixel here, and one pixel here, okay? So this is going to adjust it first from the top left, then here, then um, on the right, and then over here, okay? So it's gonna go from left, right, bottom, and then bottom, left, okay? If you do it this way, you can do the same thing with color as well. So you basically get the idea, right? Red, blue, violet, something like that, okay? Um, and then border width as well. So if we say 10 pixel, if we say 5 pixel, and if we say 2 pixel, okay, that's going to customize every single side of your border. So something pretty cool. So let me just go back and let me just fix all this. Um, I'm just going to make it generic just so I can show you how you can actually squeeze that in now, squeeze the border in. So we're going to need something simpler than that. Uh, and I will use a solid, or no, I think inset's fine as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it simple now that I showed you guys how to use this. Okay, so now the problem is we have no space at the top because, right, the element is actually, it's actually much wider, but the picture itself is in the middle. So we need to make space up top and we need to reduce the space up here. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, you got it. We need to use margins just like in our previous video, right? We're gonna use margins to adjust the distance here on the sides, but we are also going to add some padding to the top. So this is really straightforward. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this thing again. I'm just going to create a new um, a new declaration here. Um, so I'm just going to say padding and then top. That's it. And I'm going to say, you know, however many pixels. So let's just say 10 pixels. So let's just check that, see if that's right. Um, right about right maybe i can add some more space but because the border is really thick i think that should right about do it so now what we need to do is we're going to need to change the sides we're going to reduce the margins for that okay so what i'm going to say is like we did in the last video margin right and margin left okay so margin right let's say um 100 pixel you know i'm just doing this for my experience it's going to be a bit more than 10 or so, right? We're gonna to need to put much more, and it's gonna be much more than 100. So as you can see here, we did shorten it, okay? So let's keep going. Let's say 300 maybe. And we need to do it evenly because if we do it only from one side, then it's gonna be pushed all the way to that side, right? To, to, to the other side. So if we put margin right, it's gonna create that margin on the right side. Image is gonna be pushed to the left. So we need to do it again. So there you go. I mean, that's about it. Let's just see what it looks like. So there is a little bit more space actually at the top and at the right. Um, so because 
initially um, this timer was put in not exactly in the middle it was put in a little bit to the right there is excess margin on the left so what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be useless fix adjusting my margins because it's it's always going to be uneven so I'm just going to add a little padding to the right to make it even and actually to the bottom as well or sorry to the top just make it more even and then I'm also going to say padding right and I'm going to add a little bit so maybe five pixel so there you go so let's just make it a bit more um let me get maybe 15. okay that's too much okay let's make it 10. All right there you go so now i'm gonna save it and that looks pretty even right so right about it uh maybe 10 is too much so as you so like i mentioned before there's a slight inconsistency between what you actually see versus what's in edit mode so I'm going to decrease the padding to five, and I think that's going to be good. So I'm going to preview, and there you go. Okay. So that's how you add backgrounds or uh, sorry borders. Okay, to to really any element, you can do the exact same thing on any single element you have here. Uh, I thought that was. Uh, pretty cool, pretty useful. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Please subscribe. To those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.